பிள்ளையார் மாதிரி த டாபிக் ஆஃப் அவர் டிஸ்கஷன் டுடே இஸ் நியூ நேட்டல் ரிசர்சிட்டேஷன் வட் இஸ் நியூ நேட்டல் ரிசர்சிட்டேஷன் நியூ நேட்டல் ரிசர்சிட்டேஷன் ஆல்சோ நோன் ஆஸ் நியூ பார்ன் ரிசர்சிட்டேஷன் இஸ் அன் எமர்ஜென்சி ப்ரொசீஜர் ஃபோக்கஸ்ட் ஆன் சப்போர்ட்டிங் அப்ராக்சிமேட்லி டென் பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் த நியூ பார்ன் சில்ட்ரன் ஹூ டூ நாட் ரெடிலி பிகின் ப்ரீதிங் புட்டிங் தெம் அட் ரிஸ்க் ஆஃப் இர்ரிவர்சிபிள் ஆர்கன் இன்ஜுரி அண்ட் டெத் What are the antepartum risk factors increasing the likelihood of neonatal resuscitation? Those include gestation age of less than 36 weeks, gestation age of greater than or equal to 41 weeks, preeclampsia or eclampsia, maternal hypertension, multiple gestation, fetal anemia, polyhydramnios, oligohydramnios, fetal high drops, fetal macrosomia, IUGR, significant fetal malformations or anomalies. What are the intrapartum risk factors increasing the likelihood of neonatal resuscitations? Those include emergency cesarean delivery, forcep or vacuum assisted delivery, malpresentations like breach, category 2 or 3 fetal heart rate pattern, maternal general anesthesia, maternal magnesium therapy, placental abruption and shoulder dystocia. A very important step in neonatal resuscitation is anticipation and preparation. Every healthy newly born baby should have a trained and equipped person assigned to facilitate transition. An effective team behavior such as anticipation, communications and briefing are very important. In the initial assessment, I will make sure that environment is safe, neat and clean and the equipments required are ready by my side. Baby should be received in dry warm wrapping sheet. Assess quickly for color and breathing of the baby. Dry the baby with a sheet. Very often during drying, the baby starts breathing. If baby doesn't start breathing with drying, then stimulate the back of the baby and the sole. If baby doesn't start breathing with the drying and stimulation, start suctioning of the mouth and then the nose. If baby doesn't start breathing with the suctioning, then give five rescue breaths with the ambu bag in neutral position, which means head down and chin lift. chest should be rising with each rescue breath here you can see the correct and incorrect positions of the face mask the first one is the correct one after initial five rescue breaths assess the baby for the color and the breathing if baby still not breathing give five more rescue breaths by making sail with the ambu bag after that if the baby is still not breathing check the heart rate with the stethoscope If heart rate is more than 60 beats per minute continue to bag at the rate of 40 breaths per minute after every 2 minutes stop to see if the pulse of breathing has improved stop compression once the heart rate is more than 100 per minute stop bagging when the once the respiration rate is more than 30 per minute and continue oxygen until pink and active if heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute start chest compressions at the rate of 3 compressions and one breath and then again 3 compressions and one breath in one minute give 90 compressions or in 2 seconds give 3 compressions how deeply do you compress the chest compression depth is approximately 1/3 of the anterior posterior diameter of the chest now reassess the baby if the baby is still not breathing give adrenaline of 0.2 ml per kg with a concentration of 1 in 10000 Three doses of adrenaline can be given after every three minutes. Now, how to establish rapid intravenous access during resuscitation? For that, the umbilical vein is rapidly accessible direct intravenous route in the newborn. In case of difficulty in getting intravenous access, we can get interosseous access in the bone marrow cavity. So, after giving adrenaline, wait for three minutes, reassess the child for color and breathing. If the baby is still not breathing and the heart rate has improved, pass endotracheal tube. Shift to NICU. If the heart rate is still less than 60, continue to com uh, compress and uh, do ambu backing till the heart rate is more than 100 beats per minute. In certain situation, baby is not responding at all. If there is no response, no breathing, no heart rate, in 20 minutes we can stop the resuscitation process. Now let us summarize the whole resuscitation process. First of all, make sure that environment is neat, clean, safe and equipments required are ready by my side. Baby should be received in dry warm wrapping sheet. Assess for the color and breathing of the baby. Dry the baby with a sheet. Very often during drying, the baby starts breathing. If baby doesn't start breathing with the drying, then stimulate the back of the baby and the sole. If baby doesn't start breathing with the drying, start suctioning of the mouth and then the nose. Give five rescue breaths with the ambu bag in the neutral position, which is head down, chin lift. After initial five rescue breaths, assess the baby for the color and the breathing. Give five more rescue breaths by making sail with the ambu bag. If baby is still not breathing, check the heart rate with the stethoscope. 
If heart rate is more than 60 beats per minute, continue to bag at the rates of 40 breaths per minute. After every 2 minutes, stop to see if the pulse or breathing has improved. If the heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute, start compression at the rate of 3 compressions and 1 breath and then again 3 compressions and 1 breath. If the baby is still not breathing, give adrenaline 0.2 ml per kg with a concentration of 1 in 10,000. Reassess the child, wait for 3 minutes. If the baby is still not breathing but the heart rate has improved, pass EGD, shift to an ICU. If no response in 20 minutes, we can stop the resuscitation process. So thank you so much. That was all about neonatal resuscitation. Subscribe on Ops and Gaini. Allah Hafiz.